boys and girls out there listening, four, five, six, seven, and big people also, to gather around. Everybody, how's it going out there? Glad you're here, listening in. Arlo's here, I'm here. Um, why don't you follow me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something right now. And this is familiar to you. We can see it from the church. This is our Perry Cemetery. The cemetery is a place where people who have died are buried. Many of our Perry's family is buried here. And on a gravestone, you'll see written the date of that person's birth and the date that they died. Take, for example, Ray and Franny Schmig. They're out there. Remember their funerals. They're a wonderful couple. They volunteered for 38 years mowing the Perry Cemetery. And on Ray's gravestone, is the date of his birth, February 11th, 1924, and the date of his death, April 13th, 2013. And it's beautiful, we can come and visit. Why don't you come back with me here? To our gospel story for today. A friend of Jesus has died. His name is Lazarus. He goes to visit his grave. I'm sure on, on the, his gravestone was written the date of Lazarus' birth and the date of his death. But after Jesus visited Lazarus' tomb, they had to erase the date of his death. And if you listen real closely, you're going to understand why they had to do that. Let's pray. Lord, bless these little ones, all of us here who listen in. As we hear your holy word, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hi, friends. I know it's really strange to not be at our church on Sunday with our whole church family, but I'm glad that we have ways that we can connect with each other through videos and social media and emails. So I have a story for you today. This is actually the gospel story for today's um, or this weekend's reading. And this is a story about a friend of Jesus and something that happened to him. So here we go. Um, this is a really long reading, so I'm going to break it down into some parts um, and make it easier for us to get through, okay? So this is a story about a man named Lazarus, and Lazarus was a really good friend of Jesus. Jesus really loved him, and Jesus was off traveling and, you know, preaching and doing miracles and all those stories we hear about, um, about Jesus, and someone sent word to him, so Mary and Martha, actually, two sisters, they sent word to Jesus that Lazarus was sick and he was dying and that Jesus needed to come and heal him. Now, we didn't have the post office back then. There were not cars and trains. So first of all, it probably took a while to get the message to Jesus. And then Jesus was doing his work and he couldn't just leave right away. He had to help the people he was helping. So it took him a while to get back to Bethany where Lazarus and Mary and Martha lived. So when he got back there, um, Mary says to Jesus, um, because when Jesus got back to Bethany, he found out that Lazarus had died already and had been buried. So, um, actually it was Martha, went out and said to Jesus, if you had been here, Lord, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask him for. Jesus told her, your brother will rise to life. I know, she replied, that he will rise to life on the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live even though they die. And those who live and believe in me will never die. Do you believe this? 
Yes, Lord, she answered. I do believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who has come into the world. So first of all, Martha's like, God, or Jesus, this is your fault. If you had been here, Lazarus wouldn't have died because you would have healed him. And sometimes we kind of feel that way, right? Like, God, where were you when I needed you, right? Um, and she, she says to Jesus, yeah, I know, he'll live again, but he's not living now. So she's sad about that, right? Um, so then um, Jesus goes to the where they've buried Lazarus. And it says in the Bible, it says, Jesus wept. It's the shortest Bible verse we have in the whole Bible. Jesus wept. And um, people said, see how much he loved him? He's crying because Lazarus has died. And then some of them said, he gave sight to the blind man, didn't he? Could he not have kept Lazarus from dying? Well, yeah, he could have kept Lazarus from dying, right? We know that, but Lazarus died. So Jesus went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone placed at the entrance, a lot like Jesus' tomb was, right? That we hear about on Easter Sunday when the stone was rolled away. Martha, um, or Jesus told them, take the stone away from this tomb, okay? And Martha, the dead man's sister, said, there will be a bad smell, Lord. He's been buried for four days. Jesus said to her, didn't I tell you, you would see God's glory if you believed? They took the stone away. Jesus looked up and said, I thank you, Father, that you listened to me. I know that you always listen to me, but I say, for the, say this for the sake of the people here so that they will believe that you sent me. After he had said this, he called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. He came out, his hands and feet wrapped in grave cloths and with a cloth around his face. Untie him, Jesus told them, and let him go. So here's a picture that kind of shows, here's Jesus telling them to roll the stone. So here's the stone they roll away and here comes Lazarus and here are his sisters. So happy to see him again. Okay, so Jesus rose from the dead. And before he rose from the dead, he rose Lazarus from the dead. And this is, was his way of showing us that we will have life even after we die, right? So sometimes life is gonna be hard. And just like Jesus, we're gonna cry. So if Jesus can cry, we can cry. That's okay, right? But someday we will put all of this sadness behind us and we will rise again. Not the same way that Lazarus and Jesus did, but we will rise again and we will have life with Jesus in heaven. And Lazarus will be there too and we can ask him about that, okay? So I have a few questions for you that you can talk about with your families, okay? So maybe mom and dad can help you write this down. So first of all, what do you think Lazarus and his sisters did after he came out of the tomb? He had been dead for four days. What do you think they did when he came out of the tomb? Did they have a party? Did they cook a meal of his favorite foods? Did they sing songs of praise to God? Sometimes we forget to do that, don't we? To forget to praise God when the good things happen, right Arden? Yeah. So here's something you can do. Draw a picture to show how Lazarus celebrated being brought back to life and then share the drawing with your family. And if you do draw a picture of what Jesus did, will you send it to me? I would love to see your pictures. So have mom and dad take a picture or scan it and send it to me at my email address. It's S-S-V-E-N-B-Y-S-T-V at gmail.com. I would love to see them. All right, take care my friends. I miss you. I hope to see you again at church again soon and watch for more stories. Okay, bye. God bless you. Have a good day.